All right, so we got the turbo cleaned. Let's get this thing put back together so that we can start uh, building boost. All right, so we're gonna start with um, the VGT piston, okay? So this, this piece right here has gears on it on this side. All right, so you're gonna wanna take and turn it to where whenever you go to put this in here, just like that, because like these uh, these gear notches will be facing up towards the top of the turbo, and you want to connect the very first little tooth in that's on this wheel with the very first notch on your VGT piston. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can't show you as best as possible, but uh, we're gonna go ahead slap a little earl on it. Okay. We're sliding him in. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm in. Is you see those teeth? So whenever you put the plunger in, the very, very, very first teeth, you can see it that very one is touching the very first one on that piston. And you can see as I'm turning it, it's going in. Okay, you want that to um, be able to move freely. So we got that in. What we're gonna do now is take the cover for that gear. We're gonna take, put him down right there. C-clip. And then I have my DIY C-clip pliers. There we go, we're getting that C-clip locked down in there. All right, see, if you can see, it's nice and snug down in that position. And what we're gonna take is we're gonna take our pliers, and just to make sure, we're gonna turn it a little bit, just to make sure that it's in the grooves real good. So now, we're gonna stick, uh, we gotta get the rebuild kit, because we need an O-ring for this plunger that goes on the back side of that VGT piston. Um, rebuild kit didn't come with an O-ring for this plunger. I don't know why, I guess maybe they just don't fail that all that often. So I'm just gonna lube uh, this one back up, put it back on there. So we got the other end piece in. Okay, we're gonna get the Allen fitting back in. Um, if you need to, you can put a little bit of uh, some kind of sealant on it, black RTV or something like that, but put it towards the top of the threads because when you screw it in, you don't want any of that RTV getting down inside of here. All right, so we are gonna get our little square O-ring placed back in the uh, exhaust side here where the bearing, the thrust bearing goes. Here is our 10 blade propeller for the exhaust side. We need to get the O-ring on it. And the O-ring is the bigger of the two um, metal O-rings goes down here. And we're just gonna use my fingers to pull it down. There we go. We're gonna slap some oil on it. All right, we're gonna take the other O-ring, the other metal O-ring, it's gonna go on the other end of this, uh, this bearing assembly. And it goes on just like that. Okay, we're gonna slap some oil in him. Okay. And then that's going to get pressed down into this piece of your turbo, just like that. Now we're going to oil down in the turbo here. 
We're gonna oil it and then we're gonna get the bearings on there. So we go one brass, one metal. Is that dirty? And another brass. Okay. Just like that. Brass, metal, brass. So there's three different sets of sizes of bearings. Just so long as you get a matching set and put them together, you'll be fine. All right, so now we're going to put this in. Okay, so once you get the propeller pressed in, just twist it like this and get it to seat all the way flush. Um, and then on the other side, you're gonna have your floating bearing stuck in here. But below that is the other piece that comes with that bearing. It sits down in like that. And the oil uh, galley on this piece goes down. Okay. And then we're gonna be putting the cover on with the arrow facing towards the oil uh, feed. So that we already stuck that piece of the bearing in there. So we're just gonna very gently get on the shaft and go straight in. We'll put the four bolts in here. And then when we go to tighten these four bolts, we're gonna do it like it's a tire. We're gonna cross back and forth and then do one around to make sure everything is snug. All right, remember, so this is left-handed thread, so righty-tighty is not what works here. We're gonna have to get the propeller on here, and we're gonna go lefty-tighty. So that's tightening down on there. All right, that's good enough. All right, so what we're gonna be doing next is we're gonna be putting in the new unison rings and the new veins for the VGT. Um, so I watched a ton of videos on this and there's people that put anti-seize and all kinds of stuff in here to hopefully make it more lubricated, but, um, there was a couple of different cases where I saw that a month later they were tearing the turbo apart again and, uh, all the anti-seize was gone. So I don't really see a point in putting any in there. So we're just going to go ahead and put the veins and the unison ring in there and uh, get ready to uh, put the turbo back together. All right, so looking right here, you can see this dowel pin right here. This dowel pin fits down in the, the uh, turbine housing right here, and you have your VGT uh, lever here that sits in the unison ring. So we need to line up both the pin and VGT. And this may take a little while. <laughs> so. All right, since we have the exhaust housing back on, we are going to put the cold side housing back on. All right, and again, there's an arrow, points to top of the turbo, which is where the oil goes in the turbo, and the out turbo outlet is always on the bottom. Always. Always. Don't forget, new turbo kit, new O-ring that goes out here. Um, it's kind of a difficult one to get on may work better if you've got two people. I'm gonna get a second person. Okay, Like okay. Sure. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Okay, so once you get a friend to help you put the O-ring on, we're gonna put the cover on. Line it up, arrow towards where? 
oil feed. All right. Then we got our 12.8 millimeters. Okay, instead of using the leverage for the entire socket wrench, I'm just holding the top of it like this so I don't over torque these because this is aluminum that this is getting tightened into. Alrighty, folks. I think the um, only thing I left to do now is put the heat shield on the hot side of the turbo and put in the VGT. So let's do that. All right, so the VGT, we're gonna oil it up like I just did, slide it back in. You'll hear it, uh, like when it bot bottoms out, it'll have like a knocking noise, it'll go knock, and then you know you're in there. And then we're gonna put the bracket on to hold it down. There we go. And the heat shield goes on three bolts that are right here, like this. And let's get him on there. All right, so we've got the old Garrett Turbo um, rebuilt. And as always, thanks for watching. If this helped you out, comment below. If not, uh, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I'm sure there's somebody on the internet that will uh, be better suited for you. So, peace.